It's a strange thing that no congregation had been asked to take part audibly in a coronation service until the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II. And then they were given a hymn to sing. And Vaughan Williams wrote a setting of the old hundredth psalm tune. He liked it to be very, very slow and stately. So not unnaturally, some of the congregation ran out of breath at the end of each phrase. And it didn't go very well. Because I think nobody told them also that there was a long introduction from the brass instruments. And they weren't quite sure, I think, which verses they had to sing. And there was an introduction to the last verse as well. I think one or two people thought that the introduction was when they should come in and sing. Um, of course, it's very difficult to rehearse a large congregation on these occasions. <laughs> and the peers of the realm are not noted for their musical ability. <laughs> so shall we see how you fare this time? There'll be an introduction from the brass, and then you join, as you see, in verse 1, and it goes on then into verse 2, and then the choir only will sing 3 and 4, and then there's this introduction to verse 5, and I'll try and indicate to you where you come in, and then there's another little interlude after the last line of the last verse before you sing your Amen. So the Amen is on one note, so it shouldn't give too much trouble. <laughs>
I was going to ask your permission to applaud you. No, <laughs> Cynthia. I think you must all be invited to attend the next coronation service <laughs> and to sing like that. <laughs>